He's had his new hand for less than 24 hours, but the Seattle trained chef from Bozeman, Montana, is getting the hang of it. Control's good. It's um, it's almost too smart for me right now. I Still, Eduardo Garcia is already able to deftly slice a thin vanilla bean, chop, and more. It helps that Chef Garcia is right-handed and that it was his left hand that he lost. Still, cooking requires two-handed dexterity. Garcia came to Portland to advanced arm dynamics to be fitted with his new prosthesis. This bionic hand is the latest and greatest in the rapidly evolving field of prosthetic technology. The sleeve of the bionic hand fits tightly over his skin so that his skin connects with electrodes in the prosthesis. That allows Garcia to use the muscles in his forearm to control his new hand's movements. Okay. Wow. You know, the outside muscles or the extensors are going to be your open. Sure. The inside muscles or the flexors are going to be your closing. <laughs> that was me telling it to do that, huh? He can even splay his fingers and use his thumb. The hand can grip in 25 different ways. It is motorized, wireless, and uses Bluetooth technology. And while it's not completely natural, it's as close as engineers have come. Mac Lang is working with Garcia to meet the chef's needs. I go in and look at the microprocessor in the hand and make sure that all of the settings uh, match sort of what his abilities are and, and sort of fine-tune it for him. Precision pinch, that would be... Um... And the prosthetic does not weigh Garcia down. His bionic hand is about the same weight as his real hand. It is made of silicone and carbon fiber and fitted with lightweight lithium batteries that can run an entire day without being recharged. And if Garcia can no longer flick his wrist, he can at least twist it.